Welcome back to the Let's Play, everybody. I am going to build another robot. So we built that one up there. We got a couple up in the buildings up there. We got that one drilling on some basalt. The next one we're going to make is going to have a jetpack built into its feet. And it's going to be carrying another rock like that, but it's going to be flying through the air. Now I just got to decide where I want it to be. This is a little random. I think I want to build a pipe going from this building to that building. Ah, there we go. I'm going to start running these all throughout the nether to make this place look very industrial. Throwing out like, outlets out in every place as well. Just to make it look like I'm really taking over this place. Yes. I am a slime. There's my robot, my flying robot. <laughs> it turned out all right, I think. I guess that's a good representation of fire coming out and smoke below it. I made the like rocket engine combined, kind of, I guess, like Iron Man suit in Infinity War, how it can like change. But my robots are obviously not as advanced as Tony Stark suits. I think that looks pretty cool. And I'm going to, I, I think I would do a big block of black stone he's carrying on top of it. What do you guys think? Now, do I have the skill to get up here? Of course I do. Ooh! <laughs> the bottom of the rock placed here with slabs. Ooh. This is hard. Could be molded a little bit better, but you get the basic idea. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool from here. Do you guys like this, by the way? Do you like the idea that I have... Well, missed a few blocks here. But, like, having robots doing a lot of the work in my nether. I think this is kind of cool. So I think eventually we should make an area in the lab where we also produce these next to a portal. And then make, like, a giant portal here to make it look like we're slowly bringing them through. I'm thinking of all these cool ideas we can have in here. I was looking over here earlier. I want to create like a massive cave and make like a creature hiding in it, but he never comes out. You just see his eyes in there. I want to do some fun, very fictional stuff like this that I never really had the chance to do. Oh. Cool. <gasps> no, I'm not a peaceful. I tamed all these beasts. Yeah, <laughs> that's lava. Oh, here's another one. I see the chests already. Uh, okay. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. Oh, yeah. What's in this one? A shovel. Wow, look at this one. Oh, chest. Whoa, a lodestone. Nice. This is always the fun part, finding these random portals throughout our nether. This one looks vaguely familiar, but I can't say. Only one way to find out. Negative five, four, five, negative one, two, yep. Oh my God, we haven't been here in a while. Hello? Has anyone moved in? Guess I'll find out in the morning. <laughs> Wake up to a guy next to me in my bed. Oh, man. If you guys have never seen this place, you're missing out. That's it. <laughs> oh, look at this sunrise. Go out for a walk and holy crap. Oh, my gosh. I forgot how cool this place looked. Whoa, I forgot I made the bridge across there. That looks cool. We're going to expand over here. This would be a really cool base. And then, of course... We had a giant cave right here in the opening. We've explored most of this, though. But mine was all messed up, as you can, well, clearly tell. <laughs> oh, well, it is what I think it is, but look at it. <laughs> oh, it was a good moment to get sea lanterns. All right, so the conveyor belt. I'm going to go ahead and start working on this. It's going to have chains dripping down from it and these <coughs> platforms hanging off the chains carrying like raw gold, quartz. Um, just going to make it look like it's traveling this way to a drop-off point over here. I only have one rocket left. 
And I have no gunpowder at home. This isn't good. I always get such a nostalgia rush. Every, every time I'm looking for nostalgia, not gonna lie, uh, I just walk up into my world and look in these chests. Ah. I think I had a stone cutter in here at one point, but I took it out. But I don't touch any of this stuff in here, if you're curious, because these are the first four chests placed in my world, and I use these forever while I was building the first part of the house. So these are the oldest things in my world. Now I need to check on something. I have not been down here in a very long time because not too long ago, as you know, we went through a series of bugs. And one of them was that this doesn't work anymore. I think they all get stuck on something now. Sounds like Bob is down here or something, or are they just stuck again? Oh, I hear him going through the chute. Oh my god, it's working again. Oh, this is good news. I haven't been down here forever to get XP. Now I can. I don't need XP right now. I just thought I'd check this out and make sure it's fixed. Because I was on Twitter and I saw that they have something new. In the regards of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now, it's no longer called Minecraft Beta. They have a new version called Minecraft Preview. Holy crap, there's a lot of chests. What is a Minecraft preview, you ask? Well, now iOS people can finally get the beta for this game. I don't know a whole lot about the preview, but I do know it is a more stable version for us beta players, and I will no longer have to deal with game-breaking bugs, because I think you can probably switch versions if you really want to, or something along those lines. It's just more stable, and I feel like it was made for me, so yes, I'm happy. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, the right scratch. Oh god! Oh, oh god, there's so many! Haha, <laughs> I got all of you. <laughs> Losers. Oh, did I get them? Give me the membranes. Oh my god, there's so many. Do you guys find these annoying? Because no matter how many you kill, they'll just keep attacking you and attacking you. So basically all my frogs have disappeared. They just walk in a random direction and continue walking for the rest of their lives. I guess that's fine. They have their own lives, but I just heard one ribbit and I love that sound so much. This makes me want to have frogs all over the place. I just want to hear ribbits. That's my goal now. Oh, wait. That one frog ain't over here anymore. I took him to my lab. Ribbit. Frogs are just pickled hamsters. I think I remember one being way over here somewhere. This is weird, it actually feels like I'm hunting for toads. Oh my god, I see one. <laughs> oh, there's a couple. How about both of you just come back over here? Where'd you go? All right, you two do your thing. No, get back over here. Man, nice. I just want ribbits going on all over the place. I'm gonna have so many frogs around here. You know what, to have that effect, I might, don't get mad at me, but I might, oh, look at that lily pad. I might bury some in like one block areas all around my house. Oh, I'm so sad, I'm sorry. Nope, in the hole. Ha! All right, how does this look? That doesn't look too bad. Okay, I like it. Thought they were gonna look a little bit too square. Um. I might make one more, but that'll be way over there. I guess I'm going to make some sort of system where it lowers it down, and I'm going to have maybe smaller robots unloading it. So I'm going to go get a bunch of raw gold and whatever else I want to put on these and stack them up with ore. Oh, that looks pretty cool, actually. Look at that. Six. Looks like I'm going to have to go mine for some gold. I really like this block. It is actually a really good looking block. Mined a couple years ago. Oh, over. Kind of. Oh, there's some gold. I don't know why I mined in this direction. I need to go to the deep slate area where all that new terrain was generated through my world because I need deep slate. I already got 23 diamonds out of this one. Well, the mine didn't yield that many results. I have some there. Uh. Do have some in here too. Might as well take it. That's what it's here for. What else did I put in these? Iron. 
ingots, more iron. Gosh, it's when you need gold, it's hard to get. There we go. I got gold nuggets on that one, and I put some raw gold on that. I want more on it. I want it to be stacked full. I really like this. This looks cool. <laughs> what a beautiful house. I hope I have name tags in here. Please tell me. I <gasps> oh, yes. Okay. We're good. So, who's going to be the captain of my space station? I've already picked a name randomly out of the people who followed me on Instagram. Now, the only question to be answered is how do we get a villager out there? And I know it's not going to be a villager from here. We have to go to the end portal, which uh, we'll do now. Before we go out to the end, I just want to thank my donors. Uh, Jude Tumor made it on the wall for donating 50, and Bobby Sanderson, again, and I got it wrong. That isn't Pixel Rifts. It's actually a YouTube channel called Rifts Bedrock Adventure. Uh, go check them out. You make some good videos. Thank you for your donation. And we got some more in here. Carlos Brights, Jesse Barman, Jude Tumor, and Bobby. You guys are awesome. So yeah, I've had that lodestone in here for a while, but I always had this in the chest. I should put it right here from now on because when I do go off in the nether, I kind of just keep going sometimes and exploring, and it's nice to have this, so when I get lost, it'll lead me right back to this base here. But we are going out to the end, of course. I'll try not to get lost. I'm already lost. I need to set up a lodestone over here next to the end portal. Oh wait, I do have a lodestone next to it. What the heck? Where is that compass at? Okay, now we need to go up top because, as you know, there is a village up top. We just gotta see if there are any surviving villagers. Oh no. I don't see a soul out here. This is not good. Please, just one person. Are you kidding me? They're all dead? Okay, well, this changes things drastically because the portal is here and I need a villager here. There's no way I can transport a villager all the way from home or somewhere nearby. I mean, I could, but that would take forever. Okay, well, I did have a ba- Okay, there's one villager. Is this him? This is gonna be him. Oh my god, dude, where are you going? Thought you could escape. You were wrong. Huh. Well, the portal's way up there. I don't like that. All right. Let's go. Oh, you okay? I'm not going to name him until I get there because he might die. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. So close, but so far, buddy. Just please make it up this. I will love you. Oh, you're doing good. Oh, thank you so much for making that easy. <laughs> okay. I don't think I can send you through on a boat, so once you get your butt over here, you better not run off. So long. Wee! Oh! Whew. Okay. Ah, there's challenges after challenges. Well, I can't make him go up that. Guess we gotta improvise. Ah! <sighs> I'm glad you're not amused. Okay. Okay. Well, he made it to the end. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to get him out there because I destroyed my bridge and... Oh, God. A minecart rail. I guess I can do that. I don't have to take it out there on a dang boat. Actually, I think I have some left in my little beautiful mansion here. Don't I? <gasps> no. Oh. Well, I have rails somewhere. It might be on the space station. I'm going to get that track laid out in between episodes and get him over there. Let's go ahead and name him real quick. So it was picked anonymously from the people that followed me, and your name is going to be Captain Dakota Clark. Congratulations. You're going to stay here for a little bit, so enjoy this. I am going to go have a good time. Ah, what a beautiful morning. I might work on my house next episode, change things up. I'm going to go ahead and answer today's comment question of the day. What happened to all my numbers down here? Why are they dots now? That's weird. From Zion. What are your tips for people who want to start a YouTube channel? My tip would be, whatever you're wanting to get into, I'm gonna use Minecraft, for example, because you watch my videos, and I'd assume you'd want to make Minecraft videos, is study the popular channels. 
Look at what they're making. Look at their most popular videos. How are they getting views? What is getting it views? How do they title their videos? What do their thumbnails look like? How do they talk in their videos? How do they edit their videos? All these little things create good quality content. And if you want to get somewhere on YouTube, you have to nail that. I don't honestly think there's any in between. You can do decent on YouTube. I actually think I'm at the point where I'm doing decent, but I'm not doing my best. If I stayed very consistent, which I'm really trying to, um, well, I'm going to start trying to, oh, I had a frog in there lately. There's two frogs in there. Um, I am, I feel like I could be at a million subscribers by now if I uploaded two to three times every week. And you know what? I, I'm tired of just living in this same scenario where my channel just doesn't grow and it's all because of me and my consistency. And I hope you, whoever's making a video, realizes that. My first 300 to 400 videos, like I always say, got like barely any views like some of them would barely reach a thousand views and those were like my viral videos like that they did really well that should put it into perspective how long it's actually going to take once you create a new channel if you don't see growth like in your first 20 to 100 episodes don't just quit it's going to take a very long time trust me or if you take my tips and study these other channels and kind of don't copy them exactly just kind of learn the ways of being a youtuber influential person that people want to keep coming back to then your channel would probably do really good within your first 50 uploads there's a lot of channels out there like that that only have like 30 videos in minecraft and never have close to a million subscribers because they make really good videos so just keep that in mind i uh, hope your channel does good because I'm hoping mine will be taken off soon because I'm really going to start changing things. That's my problem. I say that a lot. I'm not even going to say it. I just got to make it happen. I'll see you guys in the next episode, though. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.